Welcome to Art the People's Channel. Greetings football from Yad Masiv. The Reggae Boys kicked off their two-match tour of Austria with an opening encounter against Qatar. Coach Heimer Hallgrimson's unit fell 2-1 via first-half goals from Homam, Ahmed, and Mohamed Muntari. Jamaica was able to pull one back in the second half through Shamar Nicholson. Coach Hallgrimson went with Jamali Waite in goal. Adrian Marapa captain the squad on the day beside Richard King in central defense. Young Wolverhampton Wolves player Dexter Lembekisa got the start at right back and Amari Bell was a starting left back. Joel Latibadir, who made his debut for the boys against Catalonia, started in central midfield. The Swansea City player was partnered in the centre of the park by Barnsley's Jonathan Russell. It was Russell's second appearance after making a cameo against Mexico in the Azteca. Kahim Paris was on the left wing, and the 17-year-old from Port Royal, Dejan Whisper Richards, was on the right. Veteran Shamar Nicholson and Corey Burke led the attack. The team's performance was subpar, particularly in the first half. While there were some good moments here and there, most of the players would have left the pitch, knowing they have a lot of room for improvement. Jamali Waite looked very comfortable and secure in goal for the majority of the game, except for two plays. Unfortunately, those two were goals beating him at his near post. His timing looked good when he had to combat crosses or shots from distance, and his distribution was solid. He gets a score of 5. Adrian Mariapa was one of the players that could feel somewhat positive after the game. His distribution was clean with a couple exceptions, and for the most part, he was equal to the task when challenged by Qatar. An opportunity for improvement is his spacing with his central defensive partner. He gets a score of 7. Richard King maintained his high level of play when in isolation, but his tactical awareness has room for improvement. There are occasions where the defense loses its shape because King is out of position, tackling someone who should be a teammate's responsibility. King is calm in possession and able to make quality passes, but the long distance ones have room for improvement. He gets a score of 6. Amari Bell was his usual steady self at left back. Qatar wasn't able to find much success on his flank as he was able to keep pace with their attackers and match them physically. Bell was sufficient in possession, but there were a couple plays where he could have been more precise. The team could benefit from him joining the attack a bit more. He gets a score of 6. Dexter Lembekisa had his roughest showing since joining the Reggae Boys, and never appeared comfortable. Qatar's attackers were regularly able to exploit space on his side of the field. He didn't receive any assistance from the wingers or midfielders that would have made his life a lot easier. Things were slightly better in the second half, and in possession, he was okay when playing short passes. He gets a score of 5. Jonathan Russell was underwhelming on the day. Russell is composed in possession and has the ability to make very precise probing passes, However, he's too composed when he doesn't have the ball. He is static in midfield and looked half step off the pace on the defensive side. He gets a score of 5. Joel Latibadir typically plays in central defense, but coach Halgrimson utilized the player in central midfield. He had his moments of positive play, but really wasn't able to impose himself on the game with his passing or movement. He was competent defensively without being dominant. The major disappointment with this game was his service on set plays, which was subpar. He gets a score of 5. Kahim Paris improved as the game went on, with a lot of dangerous moments stemming from his play. He was able to waltz past defenders on occasion, but wasn't at his sharpest in the final third. His contribution to the defensive end was up and down, and there were moments where he hustled, and other moments where he was a bit lackadaisical. He gets a score of 6. Dijon Whisper Richards also improved as the game went on, and he became more comfortable with the pace of play. He was more productive when moved from the wide midfield further up into the attack. He was able to create opportunities for his teammates and displayed his change of pace on numerous occasions. Whisper's defensive effort, which was exploited by Qatar, requires some work. He does appear to have a very high ceiling. He gets a score of 6. Corey Burke showed moments of danger, but his promising play was often let down by turnovers at crucial moments. As always, Burke has the energy, pace, and physical play that causes his opponent's discomfort. He also does his fair share of work on the defensive end. Burke's performance wasn't one that would lead the coach to consider starting him when the Gold Cup comes around. He gets a score of 5. Shamar Nicholson added to his tally of national team goals, converting from the spot. With some sharper play or finishing, Nicholson could have had another goal or two. 
There were moments where Nicholson was able to bring the team into the game, and some moments where he was a bit careless. He gets a slight boost from getting on the score sheet. He gets a score of 7. Demario Phillips changed the game when he entered the field early in the second half. The Mount Pleasant midfielder showed energy and movement off the ball that was lacking from the midfield prior to his addition. He had the opportunity to get himself on the score sheet after being played on goal but was unable to convert. Phillips was able to give full effort on both the attacking and the defensive end and gave the coach something to think about going forward. He gets a score of 7. Deshaun Bernard, the 22-year-old defender who was most recently on loan to Portsmouth from Manchester United, entered the game in the second half, as did Javain Brown and Kevon Lambert. All three looked solid in their short stint. Daniel Johnson also had a run, but didn't have enough time to make much of an impression. Coach Halgrimson clearly was not satisfied with the performances based on his comments during the post-game press conference. With a few more training sessions and the June 19th friendly against Jordan, the coaching staff should have a better idea of where players are and the starting lineup for the Gold Cup opener against the USA later this month. Halgrimson's record and style of play hasn't been the most impressive since taking over, but he has implied that the way he approaches matches will be different during the Gold Cup when he has his full team and isn't experimenting. Hopefully that is the case, otherwise the clapping may start to have a different meaning. Respect as always, linkage next time. <laughs>